Hi Leroy, could you tell us your name and your brief background, please? Well, my name is Leroy Ben, and a brief background. Well, I've been on art quite a few years ago, and it's a hobby, but um, since the Eastgate Gallery has been open and I was in, invited from the very start to be a part of it, I feel very privileged to be here. Apart from my art, I work as a, a pharmacist. I have been trained as a pharmacist for the last 30 years, and this is a very wonderful hobby. It helps me to relax. It's very inspiring, and it makes me feel calm after a hard day at work. And I enjoy it. Most importantly, the art I do is to try and I try to create art that would attract people. Yeah, that's right. So what is the uh, inspire you to paint? Well, I was inspired by visiting art galleries in London from a very early age. I went on school trips to many galleries in London and having seen most of the, the artwork in those galleries, I, but, um, I have been amazed and I was intrigued to such a degree. I went to art school and I began learning a bit about compositions and a variety of different issues around art shadows, <coughs> perspectives, and I found it very, very <coughs> intriguing. How long have you been painting? I've been painting for on and off. I began when I was quite young. And having um, taken up, studied a career of, in pharmacy, I stopped painting for quite a few years. And I returned to art again in 2004. And I was invited to the very first art trail by Eastgate, by um, Dean Smith in Bardian, Bardian Studios. And year after year, I've always been involved as a part of the art trail. And since the gallery has been opened on the 1st of July 2011, I have been inspired much more because Speaking to other artists, you learn lots of new skills, and I'm still continuing to learn and develop new skills. Right. What is your favorite art medium, well, style, I, and the artist? I prefer to use acrylics. I initially began with watercolors, but I progressed to acrylics. And I have also used ink, but I prefer acrylics. And favorite artist? Well, there are so many. I'm spoiled for choices. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, artists of the past. There are lots. We have a variety of different books here with Van Gogh and a variety of other artists, Leonardo da Vinci, and there are many, many more. But in our recent times, I seem to be attracted to um, oh, my Australian friend. Because he's the only live artist and he's able to demonstrate his work to the public. And he uses, he keeps the, the public guessing. What am I going to do next? Or can you guess what I'm going to be doing next? But I love his style. Oh yeah, that's right. What do you want to express or achieve through your artwork? Well, I like to express, it's, it's the spiritual side of me. And it's an emotional attachment at the same time. But the spiritual side is very, very important to me. I'm able to demonstrate my ability to do landscapes, portraits, and a lot of commission work, depending on clients' requirements. But I try to deliver satisfaction to clients for commissions for projects. But generally, I like to create use my imagination to create a variety of different styles and not just being stuck to one particular style. And come to the art gallery has opened my eyes much more to learn new skills and how to master different techniques. Right. Do you have another hobby or interest? Oh yes, I go to the library a lot. <laughs> yes, I enjoy reading books in particular. Okay. Books. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. And because of the ph pharmaceutical work I'm doing in the chemistry, uh, from time to time I do a lot of research work. 
to keep an update on all new legislations or changes within the departments in which I have to work. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from that, I like socializing. Yeah. Yeah. What is your future project plan? Well, right now, I'm trying to develop new techniques to produce more detailed work. My work in detail, but I'm not satisfied with that. I can deliver more detailed work, and I'm mastering that. Oh, that's great. For example, Bob Ross. <laughs> I like his style, and his work is very, very detailed. It captures the imagination, and that's something I'm trying to work on much more. That's great. Thank you, Devon. Okay.